Hey, what's up, y'all? Drummer828, and uh, this is gonna be the final update for this ridiculous Onision situation I found myself in. Uh, in my last video, I covered the fact that I, I received two false copyright claims on uh, my video that was covering the Onision meltdown. Uh, I showed some clips of him doing the meltdown, and uh, they easily, easily qualify as fair use. However, um... YouTube upheld his uh, false DMCA claim on my video and uh, threatened to give me two strikes on my channel which would keep me from uploading for two weeks and force me to go to YouTube copyright school and leave me open to a situation where if I was to get one more strike for anything my entire channel that's existed since 2007 would be deleted from the platform along with everything I've ever made on YouTube. So as I'm sure you can imagine, uh, this whole situation has had me a bit stressed out. I've been trying to figure out what I can do. I've tried to uh, appeal the claim uh, that was rejected by Onision and I really found myself stuck between a rock and a hard place because I don't want to take an L on this one, but I found myself in a situation where I'm being held at gunpoint by both YouTube and Onision and no matter what direction I jump, I'm gonna take a hit. So I had to sit back and think in a very calculated way and figure out what option do I have that's going to lead to the least amount of damage to my channel while still allowing me to retain as much of the original video as possible. I don't want to give Onision ownership of my video, but I also don't want to take the video down. I don't want to delete it. Uh, I shouldn't be forced to do either one of those things. So I was looking and, and really racking my brain trying to figure out what it is that I could do to come out of this with the least amount of damage to myself, my channel, and I came up with this plan of action, which I've already enacted and it seems to have worked. What I decided to do was to release my appeal and give ownership of the video to Onision, but for only a matter of minutes. Uh, only long enough to allow me to go through and clip out the sections that Onision had claimed. And what this did, it removed those clips that I used, and in the process, removed any ability that he had to claim ownership of my video. So ownership reverted back to me. So now, I have my video, it's still up. I have no strikes on my account, I will receive no disciplinary action. The downside being, I had to take those clips out of that video. But the upside is, he doesn't own the video. The video gets to stay up. My opinion on him still is on that video. And uh, the, the other subjects that I talk about on that video, get to remain uh like if i was to delete the whole video that that was what was killing me because it, it's, he's not the only thing i'm talking about in that video i'm also talking about other other subjects and, and i want that video to stay up so i think i came out of this the best way that i can and it's ridiculous that i even had to do that i think youtube was complicit in the abuse of the dmca system and i i did have to revert temporarily ownership of the video to Onision. Uh, however, I made that decision under duress. It was not something I wanted to do. It's not something I should have had to do, but it was something I was forced to do. Uh, it was either that or take heavy penalties on my channel and open myself up to a situation where I was incredibly vulnerable to having my entire channel wiped from the platform. Now there was a lot of people out there that, that kept telling me, hey, start a GoFundMe and sue them. I don't want to get involved with a GoFundMe. Uh, when it comes to YouTubers and raising money, I can't count on two hands the number of times that that situation has turned into, oh, this person's scamming or some kind of controversy comes out about money and all that. I don't have time for all that. And uh, also, I don't think I'd stand to gain very much money from suing him from doing it. It would have to be based on the principle of the matter. As, and as much as I would love to do that, I just don't have the time or the money to do anything like that. And I'm not doing a GoFundMe. It, it just, it, that always turns out bad for YouTubers. But all that being said, I think I came out of this uh, with the best option that I had, which funny enough, wasn't even brought up to me by YouTube help. But then again, YouTube help is never helpful. So no surprise there. Anyway, this has been a gigantic headache. Uh, this is not going to stop me from talking about Onision or any of the ridiculous and immoral things that he does. I'll just have to get a little more creative with how I report on his insanity. So I think that's 
gonna be my final update on the situation. Uh, I apologize that this has put a pause on uh, everything on this channel, but this was very important for me to figure out what to do and how to handle this and to make sure that when I handled it, I did it correctly and in the most beneficial way to myself and mitigate as much damage as I possibly could to my channel. It's not a full on 100% win, but I think it's the closest thing to a win that I could find in this situation. So that's it for Onision flagging my channel. No more updates on that situation or anything like that. Uh, we're gonna be going right back into this just in. So tune in Sunday. We're gonna get right back on schedule with another brand new. This is just, just, just in.